sixth grade, module three, lesson four, problem set. Number one, find the opposite of each number and describe its location on the number line. So the opposite of negative five on the number line would be, so five is, negative five is five units from zero. So the opposite would be five units further from zero in the opposite direction. So negative five, the opposite of each number is five. The opposite of negative five is five. And it is five is five units to the right of zero. Because negative five is five units to the left of zero. So 10, the opposite of 10 is negative 10. And negative 10 would be 10 units to the left of zero. And we have negative three, so the opposite is three, which would be three units to the right of zero. And the opposite of 15 is negative 15 which would be 15 units to the left of zero. Number two, write the opposite of each number and label the points on the number line. So point A, the opposite of nine. So the opposite of nine is negative nine. So let's plot negative nine. That is A. Point B, the opposite of negative four. So the opposite of negative four would be four. C, the opposite of negative seven would be seven. Point D, the opposite of zero. So the opposite of zero is just zero. And point E, the opposite of two is negative two. Number three, study the first example. Use the integer that represents the opposite of each real world situation. In words, write the meaning of the opposite. An atom's positive charge of seven. So an atom has a positive charge of seven. So the opposite of that would be negative seven, meaning that an atom has a negative charge of seven. because the opposite of positive is negative. A deposit of $25. So if you're depositing money, you're putting money in and your bank account's growing. So the opposite of that would be negative 25 and maybe you could say a withdrawal of $25. Three thousand five hundred feet below sea level. So the opposite of that would be three thousand five hundred feet above sea level, which would be positive. D. A rise of forty-five degrees Celsius. Let's say. So if it's rising, it's getting bigger, so that's positive. So the opposite would be negative 45 degrees Celsius, or just, just they just want the integer, so negative 45. And the meaning of that would be, maybe instead of rising, lowering, a uh, better word for that would be a decrease of 45 degrees Celsius and a loss of 13 pounds. So if you lose it, so that would be negative 13 pounds, the opposite would be 13, let's say a gain of 13 pounds. Number four, on a lumber line, locate and label a credit of $38 and a debit for the same amount from a bank account. What does zero represent in the situation? So a credit would be 
positive $38. So let's call that $38 credit. And a debit for the same amount. So debit means that it's been deducted. So negative 38 is right there. So this would be a $38 debit. And here, zero means no change in your balance. So no change in account balance. And number five, on a number line, locate and label 40 degrees Celsius below zero and 40 degrees Celsius above zero. What does zero represent in this situation? Okay, so I'm gonna have zero in the middle. I'll put 40 and negative 40, and we can just label 20 there, halfway between. So let's label 40 degrees Celsius below zero. So this is 40 degrees Celsius below zero. And this is 40 degrees Celsius above zero. So here, zero would represent zero degrees Celsius.